Hello, good night. This is your brother, John Love in Christ Jesus. So tonight we're going to be focusing on, you know, the church, the house of God, the house of God. And, and that's the focus. That is the focus because the church is the most important place in the world. The most important place in the world. So, and we know that uh, most that profess Jesus Christ as Lord, because we do understand that there are people that say that, you know, they are followers of Jesus Christ. You know, they got God in their hearts. They got God in their God in their hearts, and and not living a life of, you know, pure holiness, pure righteousness unto the Lord, and because they may think that they're pure in their own eyes, may they may think that they're holy. In their own eyes, they may think they have this self righteousness about themselves because they, because their position, the position, um, say that they are righteous. Um, their knowledge of you know the scripture, the word of God, say that they are righteous, they are holy. Um, um, their, 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 the, 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 um. Their, 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 there's a word I'm looking for. Um, their influence over, you know, in over people, and they can influence people, um, because people listen to them. People listen to them when they speak and and when they do certain things. People follow. That they that said to them that they're you know they're doing the right thing they're righteous they're 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 holy, uh, you know that self righteous that self righteous you know the respect from their peers the respect from the the congregation from the church mm -hmm. oh we got pastor, um, so and so coming into the house coming to church this Sunday morning and. They will roll out the red cap carpets. They will, you know, put nice flowers and decorations, and you know, you just decorate it because Pastor So and So is coming in town to preach the word to the congregation, to preach a message to the congregation. So you see that, and Pastor So and So, it's he's not living a life that is pleasing unto God. They only know him as this powerful individual. Yes, he's anointed. He's anointed to do the work. He's anointed to preach the gospel. He's anointed. Yes, God anointed the person. God anointed because, you know, with the gifts and calling, the gifts and, you know, the anointing and everything that they have come without repentance. So man can have the gifts. They can have the anointing. They can have power. But they are not pure in the eyes of God. God see them as um, evil, wicked people. Um, uh, you know, wicked people, evil people. God don't see them as their as His friends or as a son or a daughter. No, God see them as the devil. God see them as evil people, and that's why He's going to destroy them. He's going to destroy them. So the church is the most important place in the world, in this earth. The church, the church. So that's why God's going to greatly judge the church. Because judgment must start in the house of God first. So to say what, um, what I want to communicate, that there are people, they're used to churches that, Present to the congregate, present to the members, the congregation, and you know the people that hey, 
This is what we do. So, fun church. So that's a free. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use that. You know, fun church. Fun church. I don't know if you ever hear that. You know, fun church because they their focus is to make their church a certain way to attract to draw in to reel in the people. So let's come up with methods because listen, we gotta make this church fun. We gotta make this church fun. So let's come up with methods, ways that we can make this church fun. A place where people can go and be a place where people can go and experience the power, the glory of God. Yes, it's a fun church. It's a fun church. A fun church. So, but their folk, their, their, they, they, they did not really experience the power. They not really experience the glory. They not really experience the level of how what God wants to pour it. But, yeah, they operate the anointing. The people that's there, that's there operating the anointing. People that's there, they know how to, you know, minister in this way. But their lifestyle is not pleasing unto God. Their ways is not pleasing unto God. God is not pleased with them. God is not happy with the decisions and, you know, their ways. So, you know, so God, God look at them as, you know, bad people, you know, wicked people. So they would do certain things in their church to present the glory, to present that they, they're they feeling what they're feeling. You know, there are churches that do that. There are churches that will set up events or set up the stage lights or set up, you know, they would put the AC a certain, you know, degree or just a certain temperature so the the atmosphere can be right they can have they have the fog they got everything in there <clears throat> so they have all this going on and they will present this false glory false presence to the people oh do you feel this do you feel this in the atmosphere do you feel yeah they will set the atmosphere they will set the atmosphere and god is not even doing it so they will have they would make do things in the atmosphere so they can they can people can feel like oh man the presence of God is here people oh man the glory of God is here yep folks do that folks do that churches that do that false churches and then our churches they present this this um they present this can I say this way of um of church and how church should be and they want to show the people oh church is not boring <clears throat> you can have fun in church there's entertainment in church and that's why when I have conversation <clears throat> with certain individuals they would say you know what do your church do do you guys have events do you guys have you know barbecue or you know times you have to get together and have a car wash or you guys have movie nights um you know you guys go out as a church you know you go out as a field on a field trip with the church what do you guys do because that's what the stuff they used to they used to that they used to you know that being presented to them they used to that being presented to them so when they come into the true church, when they come to the God fearing church, when they come to a church that is, is governed by the Spirit of God, the power of God, the presence of God, the glory of God is there. But they can't they can take they 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 cannot stay. They cannot stay, they cannot it's, for them, it's too much. It's too much. It's too. 
it's too serious for them. It's too, man, it, it, there's a, there's a seriousness. There's a, people are here don't play. They, they don't play. They're serious about who they are and what they're doing. They don't play. So they used to the, the, the entertaining church, the, the churches that free, they entertain the people. They entertain, they got the fog lights, they got the fog um, that's blowing, the smoke that is blowing. They got the the lights that turn, you know, different colors, multiple colors. Um, they got the the stage, uh, you know, you know, decorated, you know, look nice and things like that. And, you know, they, they, they have this dark theme, you know, that everything is, you know, the lights is off and, you got the lights, the, the colorful lights, and and you see that it, 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 it's a it's familiar it's familiar to them, it's familiar to them. Cause that's remind it reminds them, oh, this is what I have when I this is what I experience when I'm at the club. This is what I I experience when I go to the, the concerts, the little concerts they have. Yeah, this is how they set up. Is this is how they set up? This is what they do. They got the fire lights. They got the little. They got the fireworks. Yeah, the, this church is over pop fireworks in the house of God. Yeah, to make it entertaining to the people, to make it entertaining to the people. They will have the little, you know, painting the artist to paint a picture while worship is going on. Um, they will have, you know, I saw things like, you know, a church that have a roller coaster in a church. Uh, this is stuff that's going on. So they they make it entertaining. They make it familiar to the, what they used to. So that's why the people come back. That's why people, they go to church. Man, you know, I go. they would tell you, I go to church. I love church. I go to church. I love my church. And, you know, you, you know, they love their church. They go to church and you look at them and you look at their lifestyle. It doesn't say that they have a relationship relationship with God. <clears throat> Those that have a relationship with God need to show, not, you know, just not just a real, just you saying that you love God, that you have a relationship. A relationship is someone that a people that is close, a people that can connect, a people that have a connection. They agree. Uh, they agree, they agree, they, they, they love each other. Um, if you say you love this person, that should need to show. So you would treat this person in a way, you would live a way that show you love this person. But you won't do things that this person disagree, that, that this person won't do. You won't do things that that person won't do. This person won't do this. This person won't live this. This person will say this stuff. So you would act a certain way if in their presence and outside their presence, you'll still be who you are because you say you're a friend, you're a friend, you, 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 you love this person. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's our relationship with God. We say we love God. We do what God's commanded us to do. If we say we love God, we do what God's commanded us to do. If God hate this, we hate this. If God don't, if God hate this, we have to have a hate for this because God don't do this. God don't live like this. God don't talk like this. So we have to look like God. We have to talk like God. We have to walk like God. So that's our lifestyle. So we can't not be different. It have to be the same. So if I love my, if you have, you have, a, you growing up, you have parents, you know, those that have parents. No, your parents golly, and they show a level of faithfulness. They show a level, you know, they they feel the Lord, and you love them, and you won't do things in their household because they said a they set, you know, they set ways rules in their house that you must follow. You must follow. You must respect. So you say you love your parents. You will follow what they say. You will respect what they say. Yes, you you. They say, hey, if you living in my roof, 
then you must follow this. If you live in my roof, yes, you're going to come to church. You're going to come to church. You're not going to just lay around. You're not just going to do whatever you want to do. No. No. So uh, as as a son or a daughter, you know, they, they respect their parents. They love their parents. They say they love their parents. And they would do and live a certain way that re, that, that showed that they love their parents. And when people see them, people can connect them to who their parents are. You know, so this child is, is respectful. This child is, is a good child. That's a good child. That's a very good child. That's a that's a respectful child. Man, this child is very is good. She's good. He's good. Man, they're polite. They're nice. They're very obedient. Uh, they're really very faithful. You know, who are their parents? So they can connect that to your parents they connect that to their parents and say man <clears throat> i know your dad i know your mother i know them they're they're good people they're godly people they they love the lord yeah they could come back to you they could come back to their your parents go to your parents and say hey your kids man they do what you they they like you they are like you they look like you they do what y'all do they live like y'all yeah and that, you know, you honor your parents. You honor your parents, and and if you are an individual, you know that your parents are they feel the Lord. They 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 they, 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 they are obedient to the Lord. They live a, a they live in a godly lifestyle, and if you live in the same way, you hear hear about the pastor's daughter, the the the, the, the pastor's son, and. Yeah, you yes, yeah, it's their job to train up their child. It's their try to job to point into their child. It's their job. It's their job so they don't turn away. They don't want to walk away. It is their job. As the the the, 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 the parents are faithful, as the parents are doing what they're supposed to be doing, yes, it's their job. But if the child wants to go ahead and do what they want to do, if the child wants to go ahead and the parents did they job the parents telling them, hey, if you do this right here, this is all the con consequences towards those decisions. This is what's going to happen if you make those decisions. Yeah, the parents warn them. The parents tell them, hey, if you go outside, there's danger outside. If you step out of, out of my roof, out of my protection, I, I'm not going to be available when you need me. I'm not going to be available when you call for me because... You step outside of me, you step away from me, and you're not near me. You're not near me. Yes. So if you, if that child go ahead, go and do what they want to do, and, and live in, disobeying their parents, um, not honoring their parents, disrespecting their parents, and don't want to listen to what their parents tell them to say. No, I don't want to follow your rules. I don't want to follow what you're commanding me to do. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I want to live my life. Let me live my life. <coughs> Let me live my life. And and when when you and you tell people that, oh yeah, I know. I love. I love. I love my parents. I, I love. I love my parents. I love God. I love God. I love God. You tell people that. And people look at God. People go back to God. Okay, you say you love God, but there's no connection to that. There's no connection that you love. There's no connection. There's no. There's no evidence. There's no proof that you are a true follower of God because you do this here. You make those decisions. You do these stuff here. So I don't really. It don't really. It don't show. That you love God. It don't show that you honor your parents. It don't show that you respect your parents. It doesn't show because you make those decisions here. You make those decisions here. So don't you, do you see where I'm coming from? Do you say if you if you say you love God, if you say you love God, you must look like your father. You must look like God. You must look like him. You must act like him. You must live like him. Yeah, you honor him. You glorify him with your life. Yeah, you say you love him. Yes, I love him. I'm not going to embarrass my parents. I'm not going to embarrass them because I represent them. I, I I am made in the image. Yeah, I am made in the image of my parents. So if I disrespect my parents, so if I live a certain way when people watch me, 
they're looking at God that way. Oh, this is how your people act, God. This is how your people, this is the way your people act. This is your way the people, your people live. No. So there's a way. There's a way a man should follow God. A way that man should present their life to God. To God. So we honor God with our life. We glorify God with our life as we obey his voice. As we obey his voice. Because if you are an individual that say you follow God, but you do this right here, I can't, there's no proof that you love God. There's no proof that God is no true, that God, that you truly love God. There's no, there's no proof there. There's no proof. I can't not see the hands of God in your life. I cannot see the favor of God in your life. I can't not see what God, I cannot see because God is not there. God is not near because you you separate yourself from God. You left your first love. So, yeah. So that's that's what it is. Like folks, you don't know, think they have a relationship with God? Think because they go to church and that that's that say they have a relationship with God, and they don't want to obey God. They want to go to church, but the church need to have entertainment for them. The church need to have a clock to say what time we're going to leave church. You know, people would tell me, you know, what time your church ain't. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to tell you straight up that we don't have a time on God. I don't put a time on God. We don't put time on God. We don't do that. God, if God want to end church start at 7 p.m. and God want to end service at 1 a.m., hey, that's, that's what he's doing. So we don't set time on on God. So you have you 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 will go to someone's job, clock in to somebody um, time clock, and they'll tell you, "Oh, I know you work to nine to five, but you have to do overtime, mandatory overtime. So you're gonna get off at 11, 11 p.m. So you're doing nine to eleven p.m. Nine in the morning to eleven p.m. Yes, sir." Cause I, you know, you know, you have to pay your bills. You know, you got to take care of your family, your house, because you know you can afford for them to fire you. Cause you're afraid that they're gonna fire you if you say no. I can't work, man. I can't work. I can't work. But you will give your time to the that time clock to to man to job to this world. You will give your time. But when it comes to God, you don't got time. You don't got time. You can't even sit in church for thirty minutes because you're thinking about your TV show that's gonna come come on in the in, in an hour. You're thinking about the you know game that's about to come on. You're thinking about you know what I'm gonna eat. No, yeah, that's what folks you know folks are not yo folks not truly following God. Folks not truly they don't really love God. They don't really love God. So. You know, church will present that as false churches, as churches that will present that to the people. You know, come to our church. We have fun. There, there, there's pool parties. We got, you know, pool tables in our church. We we, we, we got, you know, movie nights. We, all, we even got a theater in our church. When it comes to our church, we have festival nights. You know, we come to praise and worship. Come to visit us. We got the lights. We got the, the glow-in-the-dark rings that you could put on your neck and the glow-in-the-dark glasses. You know, let's have fun. Let's celebrate God. And, and you you see that in the churches that's that's going on in the churches. And you man, this a whole this is a whole club that's 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 happening in here. Yeah, I've seen things like that. Man, this is like a a, a rock and world concert. Like, what's really going on? Yeah, what's really going on? Folks are in the flesh. Yeah, it's because that's what they're familiar to. They, 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 they the people that whoever is in charge of the church, whoever is that lead, that's that the pastor of the church, they he 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 wants to make the church a place where people come and be entertained. You, I'm a, we have to entertain the people. We cannot let the people be bored. We cannot let the people be just. You know, we cannot be too serious. We cannot be too serious. You know, we 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 cannot be so hard on the message. Let's let's keep it light. Let keep it light. You know, let's keep it light. No, they're not telling the people what it is. They're not 
telling the people the truth. If you come in here the way you do, if you come in here and you still live in a homosexual lifestyle, you're going to die and go to hell. Yeah, but God is merciful. Jesus is merciful. He can forgive you. Come to him. Come, come. Accept that. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Lay down your life. Deny your life. Yeah, yeah, they're not telling them that. Oh, they were, they're telling them message that you're going to, pamper them that's gonna that's gonna make them feel good that feel good message well i'm here to hear the feel good message what's the feel good message i'm, I'm here to tell i'm here uh, to hear an encouraging message yes god's gonna bless you listen congregation the god's gonna bless you guys he's gonna bless you abundantly listen i'm telling you that he's gonna bless you and that's what they're telling them, folks Oh, God is going to do good things in your life. Oh, God is going to send your children to college. God is going to send your son to the NFL. That, that's what he told me. That's what I had a dream about. Yeah, that feel-good message, that get message that the congregation want to hear. Yeah, yeah, if that's what is in the heart of, that's what, that's if that's what's in the heart of the people, that's what God's going to put in the pe people. That's what God's going to present to the people. That's what God's going to give to the give to the people. Cause that's what the people want. They don't want God. They don't want God. They won't. They won't. They want fun. They want entertainment. They want the world. So let's bring the world to the church. That's what people want to do. That's what it is. The the the, 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 the false pastors, the false teachers, they want to bring the world into the church. Let's bring the world into the church. The world, the church needs to be entertained. The church needs to be fun. The church needs to have bounce houses. That church needs to have concerts and you know festival nights and party nights and club lights and you know rap gospel nights and rock and roll gospel nights and you know R and B gospel nights and you know the church needs to do that. The church needs to you know celebrate the. The, the LGBT, you know, parade, the church need to accept them as they are. We need to love them. And, you know, yeah, we, yeah. God love them, but God, God, God love his righteousness more than he love. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. He love holiness more than he love us. I'm telling you. He loves us. But he love himself first. He, 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 he loves his holiness. He loves his glory. He loves his 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 he loves what he he's doing. So if you obey and you're doing what you're doing, God loves you. God is gonna favor you. God's gonna, you know, embrace you, take you in. But if you live your life, yeah, he loves you. For God so loved the word, he gave his only begotten son, and who should ever believe in him should not perish and have everlasting life. Yeah. But if you don't believe, if you're not following him, you're not going to have everlasting life. God's going to throw you to your hell. Yeah, he loves you so much that he's going to throw you to hell because you live this way. You know, I got to show people that I, I, I meant what I said. I meant what I said in my word. I got to show people that, no, my word is not vain. Yeah, I, people... And I say this too, you know, God don't throw anybody to hell. God doesn't throw anybody to hell. God doesn't throw anybody to hell. People throw themselves there. Men throw themselves there. Why I say that? God made it clear. If any man come after me, he must deny himself. Pick up their cross daily. Follow him. If you can't follow him, he'll tell you, no, go and get rid of the stuff. Go and sell it to the poor. Go and do this. No, let the dead bury the dead. No, you, 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 yes, you're a fisherman. No, you're a fisher. Nah, you're a fisherman. You're going to catch men. You know, you'll bring men to me. Yeah, you're not doing that job no more. You're not doing this no more. You're not doing that no more. Yeah. So, you have to understand that God is in control. God is in control of everything. 
And if you choose to live your life outside what God is saying, because he's, 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 he's making it clear, he's showing us heaven or hell, you choose. If you live a life of, of hell, like you're going to hell, you're going to hell. If you live a life like you're going to heaven, you're going to heaven. Listen, men send their self there. Men lead their self there. Because if you live in life like you're going to hell, you're going to hell. If you live your life like you're going to heaven, you're going to go to heaven and spend eternity with God because you know that, hey, I live, I must act like I'm, I'm a son of God. I'm saved. I'm a Christian. I, I must act and live like it. I can pretend. I can try to put up an image and that I'm not. You got the nice clothing, nice robe, suits, and dress, and you want to look modest. You want to look like a man of God, but you live, you live very. You live a wicked life. You live, you live your life like you're going to hell. That's where you're going. That's where you're going. When you stand before God, listen, your life gonna be right next to you. Your life gonna be right next to you, telling on you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna tell on you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You. I know everything you did. I was right next to you. Yeah. Your life gonna stand right next to you, stand right by you to tell on you that hey, this is what you do. This is how you live. Yeah. You know the angels write everything you do. The angels write everything you do. So anything that you're doing, you cannot hide from God. So you really are writing, you are writing your life. We are we are writing our life. So what the ending gonna look like? You're writing your life. You you're making a decision where you're gonna go for eternity. Yeah. So man will not have no excuse. When you stand before God, yeah, you're gonna say, Depart from me. Depart from me. I never knew you. Yeah. Never knew you. Because you didn't obey. You didn't live to you didn't live in righteousness. You do you did whatever you wanted to do. Yeah. So let's not play games. Let's not play games. So the house of God needs to be holy, pure. And if you go away to a church because you want you looking for entertaining, entertainment, if you're looking for fun, I'm looking for a fun church. Listen, it's not for you. It is not for you. I'm, I'm telling you right now. It's not for you. If that's your motives, if that's what you're looking for, it is not for you. If you want to go look, you want if you want fun and entertainment, go to the go 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 out there to the world. Go, they can offer you all that stuff. No, the church is holy. The church must be holy unto the Lord, and we live holy unto Him. We obey and we fear the Lord. Yes, and we do what God has commanded us to do. So this is your brother John Love in Christ Jesus. We definitely talk again.